around the corner in North America and once again I decided to make this card in a color scheme for an old relative I know she likes as you saw in my previous projects and I decided to use this color scheme of beige and pink for which I used three types of paper the beige pearlized card which is 280 GSM I purchased from Creating Craft in bulk many years ago so it was great value for money the pink and golden Rococo design card which I purchased from Michaels in North America back in 2019 I think and this double-sided card I'm scoring now which is 200 GSM and I purchased it from pound shop before they went bankrupt they used to sell these booklets of three pounds 24 by 24 great value for money and I purchased so many how fortunate was I of course I had to cut the paper to follow the design I want a three layered design and I scored it and the next step I wanted to use some clay elements i purchased recently on ebay this mold which i really like is with angels so i decided to make my angels once again the clay is a bit darker but it dries in a lighter color and anyway is going to be covered in gesso so i made four bigger angels because they are so beautiful and they seem to be better defined than the other angels i also made some flowers and i'll be adding chipboard and many other elements you are going to see uh, soon When I do not have time to make my own flowers, which I tend to make many in order to last me a long time, I use these paper flowers I purchased in bulk. This one from Creating Craft some 10 years ago, so it was an excellent value for money. Plus other flowers I purchased during my trips in North America, from Michaels especially, because they were reduced and again they were in bulk and great value for money. Otherwise Michaels, just like the other major stores, they are a bit uh, expensive but much cheaper than what you find in the UK so whenever I'm in North America whether in United States or Canada I always purchase beautiful flowers from all their major shops as well as Dollarama, Dollar Tree, wherever I find beautiful items I found stencils of all kinds I found so many things I had to bring back to the UK this chipboard was also purchased in North America and I never used the big chipboard until now. It was my first time and how inspired was that. But if I want to paint it, I have to first cover it in gesso. So I cover only the bits which are going to show in gesso as you can see here. Afterwards, I'm going to use a gorgeous graphite paste, which I purchased on uh, eBay. The graphite paste is being used again with stencils I purchased in North America at $1 is just great value for money. You can't find this in the UK. If you want to purchase, you have to get them online on Amazon, eBay and so on. So in the UK, these kind of items are yet to come at this very low prices. So I keep getting my stencils from there. And I applied this graphite paste even on the chipboard, again, on the areas which are going to show. And on top, I'm going to use all my elements. On the back of 
the centerpiece, I put that carton to raise my chipboard and right in the middle at the front, I'm creating this centerpiece using an old London underground map. Look at that, how easy it is to make and how efficient. Well, she was brought up in London, so I'm sure she'll recognize all these things despite now living in North America for quite some time. And these are the flowers and clay elements and everything else I decided to use for this project. If, like me, you prefer to keep these elements almost in their natural state, as I call it, you just have to use ink pads. And again, I purchased lots of ink pads in bulk from eBay and they last until now. I'm very, very happy. Do not worry if you destroy one of the clay items. You can repair it later on using glues. I used two types of glues for this project, a normal, very strong glue and the silicone glue you are going to see later on. And following the color scheme, I used several types of ink pads in purple, pink and brown using also these tags I got them from Creating Craft many years ago. These flowers were purchased from Michaels in North America and I really like the way the card is coming together. Several years ago, I purchased from Poundland in Hammersmith, I think, uh, some glitter tubes, which I tried using them for other projects, but the glitter kept falling. And on this occasion, off camera, I had the idea of using these glitter tubes together with the multi-medium mark. And as you can see, it worked. I'm going to use this method again in the future. And after gluing everything the following day, I added these small beads again with a multi-medium mat. Great results if you like a 3D effect. And how beautiful is that? <laughs> 
so I'm not going to throw away these glitter tubes because they are not as good quality as the other glitter you find around but with multi-medium matte yes great results Another thing I'm going to use and I purchased from Create and Craft some years ago was an acetate you are going to see later on because on the back of the acetate I can attach a picture of me and you can personalize your cards using acetate as you are going to see pretty soon. You can attach your poems, you can attach pictures, so they look much more professional. Of course, I have used that juice you saw there already, and here it is. I really love this three layered card and how it comes together. I made more things off camera, as you can see them here, using stencils, and there you have it. As ever, I hope this influenced you too in creating your own original projects. Thank you for watching and have a very nice day. Bye.